What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with Brian Emanuel. Yes, sir. You know, the ones that I own are probably fake. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Hopefully. Let's go. Let's get it. You're wearing Jordan KOs. You yes, wear sir. them, obviously, to uh, too much to a level of you, you know, know. It's it's fine. It's it's cool. You can see you know the the little wrinkles and everything, and it's like all kind of like dirty. But it's like if you think about it, it's kind of it's it's the biggest flex ever because it seems like I don't I don't care about it. And also, dirty sneakers now. A lot of brands are even doing distressed sneakers. So you're oh, really? kind of on trend. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you were ahead of the curve. I'm ahead of the curve. Wow. What are like the basketball players in Indonesia that people really gravitate to? I think people love Kobe Bryant. Okay. Right? I don't know why. I, I don't even like follow sports that much because I never like growing up. I don't really play sports. Mm -hmm. It's fun, but it's like because I was homeschooled. It's like I'm always at home, and it's like you know, like when I was in school, I was playing soccer for like a tiny bit, but it was nothing. And we just, I don't know. I, I, basketball is tight, but like I, a lot of my friends are into basketball, okay. and you know, they're like into Kobe Bryant. And, yeah, they, I, th I feel like they only talk about Kobe Bryant. Really? Yeah. I don't so know Kobe why. still, even though he retired, is still like the yeah, guy they oh, love. Yeah. Oh yeah. When he retired, everybody was so sad. There was a a video I think Hype Beast did it of you grading the Big Baller brand shoes. Do you remember right. that? I do. What do you yeah. think about Lonzo Ball? And I'm sure you're aware of like the Ball family now being right. in LA. You know, I've rapped about them. And, Have you? You know, yeah. And in one of my in my newer songs, Chaos. Okay. And, um, I said like I said something like balling like Lavar. His last name is literally Ball, which is gangster. Like, yeah. Who does that? Yeah. You know. So like that's the only thing I know about him, and that's the only thing that I wish to know about him. And you know, he's he's um, he's a fucking man in my eyes for having the last name Ball. So. What classic Jordans do you like? Let's let's just put it like this, man. If like. If homeboy like comes through with like oh, God. these, I know. I know it's where like this is going. it's quiet for him. Yeah, it's quiet for him. But like, if homeboy comes through with like with these, homeboy's gonna like get it. You said that you're not crazy into expensive sneakers. Yeah. But after doing some research, you do have a pair of these Nice Kicks NMDs. I, I do. 1750. That's pretty well, expensive. I mean, technically, it's not mine. It's my brother's. Okay. It's my older brother's. And these are, you know, the ones that I own are probably fake. Really? So, I don't know. Why do you, you know? think that? I mean, there's just like a lot of fake stuff in Indonesia, and I, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. Everything just looks so real, and like. I don't know, man. Like and like I said, these look cool, and you know sometimes when my brother is not home, I just wear it. I don't even wear it outside of the house. I just wear it inside of the house. And just okay. walk around. Is your brother into sneakers? Oh yeah, he's he very is. into sneakers. Yeah. And has he ever tried to get you more involved in sneakers, or he knows that your your chill aesthetic is what nah, you're rolling man, he with? He just tries to get me to smoke cigarettes. That's what he does. Really? Yeah. That's a worse <laughs> habit than collecting sneakers. Yeah, but, you know. Are you up on sneaker YouTube? Do you know you know this dude that like um, he's he's the one that like does like sneaker reviews and unboxings and there's this one really famous like buying of him. Okay. And he's just like, all right guys, so let's get to <laughs> let's get to what they look like on feet. And, and then what? it cuts to like him just like with like this big ass like t-shirt. Anyways, let's get to what they look like on feet. Alright guys, so here's the nice outfit. His name is Franolations. Fran, of course. Yes. He had the yes. Givenchy t-shirt yes. with the like, um, yes. it's pink and green. Yeah. Yes. I met him so randomly, dude. I met him in like my friend's house in Indonesia. And you know, yeah, he, he was like giving me like free, you know, like the sandal boys and everything. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I was just like looking at him. I was like, wait, are you like, do you make YouTube videos? And he's like, all right. <laughs> he's, he's, the o he's like the OG he of sneaker YouTube. Much. Yeah. Yeah, Franolations. Franolations, shout out. Good out, guy. Man. No, I, I mean, that's how I learned English in the first place. I was wow. just watching a bunch of like unboxing videos, like review videos. It could be anything. It could be like Ruby's Cubes, like airsoft guns. It's just a bunch of shit where people just speak English into the camera and I'm just like, you know, listening to them. And one day I was just like thinking about something. And you know, like when you think, you kind of have like that inner voice in your head. Mm -hmm. And one day I was like, this voice is in English. And I was like, this is tight. Wow. And I want to like keep learning this. So every time I kind of like have the chance to like just be by myself, I, I, I like to talk to myself and like in English. 
to like practice my pronunciation, and that's kind of like what I've been doing like the past like five years. Too. That's awesome. And you you speak perfect English. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, boss. You're friends with Post Malone. Yes. I asked him on an episode if he got a chance to design a shoe, what it would look like. He said, oh, like, really? cowboy boots and stuff. Okay. If you got a chance to design a sneaker, what what would it be like? It would be like a big ass, like a big ass Tim, like tall as shit. Like okay. it makes you like seven foot tall. Okay. And it has like holes in it, like the Crocs. Okay. So it's like Tim's and Crocs collaboration. So a Croc Timberland Fusion. Croc Timberland Fusion. Wow. That's like what I would go for. That's like the most functional shoe ever. 100%. Because you can swim in that shit, like you can run away from obstacles and problems and you know like and it looks super dope so that's a million dollar idea yeah look shark tank <laughs> hit me up i know you enjoy wearing your beaters but yes. now's the easy part get to shop the shelves buy some sneakers awesome i was looking at all these earlier and i really like this one these are the sn uh the snake skins i like this one a lot another snake skin <laughs> I want to get these, and then uh, these. Oh shit, what are these? Yo, I like these a lot. Okay, so right. your total is 1,587 and 74 cents. Shit, all right, here you There you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you for, oh, okay. Oh, that's, okay, I'm holding it so long. It's all good. All right, thank you very much. Enjoy. Have a good day. So, Rich came through, is leading with five new pairs of sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. Make sure you check a new project, coming soon. Hell yes, brother.